Hey everyone, welcome back. Did you know that 3 out of 5 home fire deaths happen in places with either no smoke alarm at all, or where alarms weren't working properly? That's according to the National Fire Protection Association. Now, you might be thinking, wait a second, how can a smoke alarm not work? Aren't they all the same? Well, here's the deal. Not all smoke detectors are built alike. In fact, there are two main types, photoelectric and ionization, and they detect fires in totally different ways. So today we're breaking down photoelectric versus ionization smoke detectors, and by the end, you'll know which one's right for your home, or why the smartest move might be having both. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more smart home safety breakdowns. Let's start with a photoelectric smoke detector. Think of this one as your early warning system for slow, smoky fires. These are fires that smolder for a long time before bursting into flames, like when a cigarette is left burning on a couch, or old wiring is overheating behind the walls. Here's how it works. Inside the alarm, there's a tiny light beam. When smoke enters, it scatters that beam, and that disruption triggers the alarm. It's simple, but really effective for those dangerous, hard-to-notice fires that fill your home with toxic smoke. Now, if you're wondering what's good on the market, another really solid option is the Kida P4 ACLEDS, which not only detects smoke, but also has a built-in safety light that kicks on when it alarms, giving you a lit path to escape. Pretty clever, right? Okay, now let's flip it around and talk about the other type. Ionization smoke detectors. These are like the speed demons of fire detection. Instead of focusing on smoky fires, they're super quick at catching fast flaming fires, the kind that spread in seconds like paper, curtains, or kitchen grease. The way they work is a bit more sciency. There's a small amount of radioactive material inside that ionizes the air between two plates, creating a current. When smoke particles enter, that current is disrupted and boom, the alarm goes off. Here's a stat for you. In tests, ionization detectors often respond 30 to 90 seconds faster than photoelectric ones in flaming fire situations. And when flames spread fast, those seconds could mean everything. For products, the first alert, 9120B, is a solid, hardwired option that a lot of people rely on. If you prefer a simple, battery-powered version, the Kitty I9050 is one of the most affordable and widely used ionization alarms out there. So now you might be asking, okay, which one is better? And the truth is, neither one covers everything. Photoelectric is best for smoky, smoldering fires. Ionization is best for fast, flaming fires. And since you can't predict which type might happen, safety experts usually recommend having both kinds in your home. That's why dual sensor smoke detectors exist. They combine both technologies into one unit, giving you complete coverage. And here's a bonus if you like smart tech. Today's smoke detectors are getting smarter. Some models combine smoke and carbon monoxide detection, give you voice alerts instead of just beeping, and even send notifications straight to your phone. For example, the first alert, OnLink Safe and Sound, not only detects smoke and CO, but also connects to your smartphone and doubles as a smart speaker. It's a modern upgrade if you want more than just the basics. So here's the bottom line. Photoelectric detectors are your best bet for slow, smoky fires. Ionization detectors are faster with flaming fires. And dual sensor detectors give you both in one package. Whichever one you go with, just remember. Have alarms on every level of your home, in every bedroom, and in hallways outside sleeping areas. Test them once a month, change the batteries once a year, and replace the whole unit every 8 to 10 years. If this video helped clear things up, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment letting me know which type you're using at home, and of course, don't forget to subscribe for more smart home and safety tips. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.